Hey everyone, Scott here, and we've got a Bible. It's been a while since I've reviewed a Bible. I've been doing a lot of prayer books and things like that. But I recently picked up this New Revised Standard Version with Apocrypha Text Edition. It's published by Oxford. Probably in the early to mid-90s, if I've understood correctly. It's a model 9800A. A meaning it has the Apocrypha. It was available without. And... This later, if I understand correctly, was replaced by the 9814, which has a concordance as well. This does not have a concordance. It's a very basic edition, uh, but I like it. I wanted something that was more of a reader. All my NRSVs I have right now are like study Bibles. So go ahead and take the dust jacket off so we can see underneath. Look how great condition that dust jacket is in, though. And got Holy Bible with the Apocrypha, NRSV Oxford, and we've got the NRSV logo embossed in the spine. That's kind of neat. Huh. 9800A. These earlier editions were printed in the U.S., and from what I've gathered... And a lot of the information I'm referring to comes from the fans of the NRSV group on Facebook. If you're interested in the NRSV, I definitely recommend checking that group out. But people were noting these, at some point, they were printing in Korea. The Korean editions are not as well made or printed. And they suggest going for these older U.S. printed editions. Of course, nowadays, we also have some great editions being produced by Zondervan. But uh, for a long time, good NRSV uh, Bibles were, uh, were limited. And this is, given its age, it's, it's a glued binding. It's not line matched. You know, it's not got some of the benefits we have today with more modern productions, but it's a very good addition. The Apocrypha is broken up into four sections, which is kind of interesting. I've not seen it divided up this way before, at least that I can recall. So they've got all the books that are common to both Roman Catholic, Greek, and Slavonic Bibles, and then uh, in more detail, those that are specific to only some of those. We've got abbreviations. Got the To the Reader, written by the late Bruce Metzger, Measures and Weights in the Bible, Chronological Table of Rulers. So we do have a few features here. And then we're into the Old Testament. Each uh, of the Testaments and the Apocrypha starts with a page listing all the books in alphabetical order with page numbers. And then there's the text. Double column layout. Nice bit of room to breathe. Nice margins. Uh, keeps it fairly well, out, you know, well enough out of the gutter that it's usable. And we've got no section headings, which is something that uh, Jason Engel mentioned in his video, which I will link to if I remember. Uh, that is a nice feature because the section headings are not part of scripture. They are interpretive, and uh, it's nice to have a text edition that doesn't include them. Now, there are some at the bottom. They're at the bottom of the page, but you can easily ignore those and just read the text. There's a bit of ghosting, and as I mentioned, it's not line-matched, but uh, I find it quite readable. I read several chapters in Deuteronomy this morning, and uh, I really enjoyed reading from this. The text... The print itself has a little bit of a sheen. You have to hold it under the light properly to not get that, but, you know, that's not that big a deal. Uh, I'll say it's not as well printed as my New Oxford Annotated Bible 5th edition, which is much newer, but uh, I find it to be much nicer than a lot of older Bibles, and I like reading from this a lot better than, say, the Thin Line. And I forgot to mention, I picked this up for $10 at a half-price books, and very happy with it for that price. And that's the thing. There are some great editions of the NRSV available now. 
thanks to Zondervan, and they're very affordable, but they're not $10. So if you're looking for something relatively cheap, this is a great one to watch for. Of course, the updated edition will be out in print uh, very soon. But if you're looking for an 89 NRSV cheaply, I highly recommend this. I like this too because it's affordable enough. I don't feel bad writing in it. I used to have a Cambridge reference edition, which was in uh, goatskin. It was very expensive. It was a very nice Bible, but uh, I ended up selling it because I never used it. It was too nice and too expensive. I was always afraid of damaging it. And I, I wouldn't mark in it. This I have no problem marking in. Uh, I just add a note here. This is Psalm 97, verse 10. The Lord loves those who hate evil. And they have a footnote. You who love the Lord hate evil. And I just noted, see footnote, because this is actually the rendering that's in the NRSV update edition now. And it's the rendering that's most common across English translations. And uh, according to Derek Kidner, uh, it follows the Hebrew. Uh, this version is pretty uncommon. You see it in the RSV and the RAB, I know. And, of course, in the 89 NRSV. And just to share a little, I've got, here's Kidner's commentary. Love that vintage cover art. Uh, he notes, and he was comparing with the RSV because that's what was current when he wrote his commentary. Uh, he notes the Hebrew text of 10a is more forthright than RSV. Most modern, simply, lovers of the Lord hate evil. Then follows the reassurance he preserves, etc. For such a stand is costly. And I, I think that makes a lot of sense of this rendering of 10a because it makes sense in light of the reassurance that uh, those who love the Lord hate evil are preserved because hating evil, standing against evil uh, is a costly stance to take all too often. Move to the back here. See, end of Revelation, the grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. And that's basically it. We've got a few maps. Uh, no concordance, no other features in the back. Just a few maps. Pretty decent maps. What, maybe, eh, maybe one blank sheet, yeah. So, yeah. I think this is a really great addition if you're just looking for something that's not too expensive. You want an 89 and RSV to read. I'm going to, you can see the uh, headband separated up here, but that's okay. I'm going to add a couple ribbons and glue that back up. But certainly if you find one of these in as fine a condition as this for such a price, I highly recommend picking it up. And if you're hearing a strange noise right now, it's Mrs. TSB. She's in a room above me. Uh, she's on her exercise ball, and it makes a really odd noise when you are in the basement below her. Anyways, thank you for watching as always. If you have anything you'd like to share, please leave me a comment below. Uh, always love hearing from you. Give me a like if you found this helpful or entertaining. And as always, God bless. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you for the next one, friends.